Hi ladies. Okay, so I tried a live video earlier and um, technology was against me today. So you are going to get me in my true and tried me medium, which is the photo booth on my um, on my computer. So I really was excited for live, but um, apparently I have to be outside, not on my internet, but on my cellular data plan and then my phone died. So I am having one of those days where my brain is just swirling with um, with ideas. And one thing I have learned that I really love from talking with Heather Lambert every two weeks, and um, she's the Southeast National Sales Director. So I fall in her region. Um, what I love is that like I get to bounce those ideas off of her, and that like really helps me personally. So I thought, why don't we have a bouncing off ideas um, post? So that's kind of what this is. And I was hoping for live so you could post underneath it, but we'll just have to settle this way. Um, as you can see from, from some of my posts, I've already started posting what I'm thinking to try to change up my business personally. And I don't know about you ladies, um, but just getting out there. Summer is here for the United States, which means it's warmer, people are out, people are more excited to go places, um, and I just have spring fever. So <laughs> I'm wanting to get out and get with people and do different things. So my first thought was the coloring book. Um, I'd been watching it, and then when I walked into Michael's last week, I went, okay, all of this is on par. We need to hop on it now. Um, so have coloring book parties. Here's an amazing idea. Get a hostess who has friends who love to do stuff like painting with a twist and have a color book with a twist party at their house. Everybody pays $15 to come. You pre-order the sheet of wraps. They can pick, you know, you can give three or four options and they can pick which ones they want. And then they all get together. You bring the Sharpies, you bring your gel kit, you bring your top coat and your application tools and they color. Maybe you're with people who drink wine and you, you serve wine or maybe it's coffee or maybe it's flavored water for your health club. I know Stephanie's in a um, fitness group. So um, you could also do like fun flavored water testing at the same time. You can really jazz it up and it could be three to four women. It could be 10 women around a table just gabbing, coloring, having so much fun. Um, when Morgan had her team managers meeting last summer, gosh, it's almost been a year, um, we had adult coloring book time and it was amazing. It was such a stress reducer. Um, how fun would it be to do your nail wraps? And then if they want to put them on, you can show them how to put them on right there and they can leave. You can have a contest where everyone votes secretly for who did the best job and that person walks away with a thing of fine tip markers and a wrap or whatever your budget allows. And then, um, so that's like a really fun, creative way to get sales and have everyone not so like, oh, I'm going to a Jamboree party. Like, you won't be doing other sales. You'll have your catalogs there, and I'm, people will probably order, but your whole thing is focusing on getting everyone excited about doing those coloring books, and then maybe booking more coloring book parties off of that. Um, and then I saw the dog wraps, and that's one I have seen over and over for, for the last two years, and have never, well, until recently, was not a dog owner, so I didn't quite understand it. But now I'm a dog owner, and you better believe my little Isabella is going to have some matching nail wraps. But not to me, to my daughter, um, because that's really her dog. So, like, you could really get in on this idea of, I know this is, an, like, a market that's pretty untapped, and I know for certain there are some women in our, in our bigger team this is what they target and this is how they make their money like this is where they go so um so i'd love to hear anybody's thoughts on that um you like i said you could get with a dog groomer and do like customer appreciation day where the owners get their hands pampered and the dogs get their nails done like you could train the dog groomers how to do it so you're helping the humans do it and the draw the dog groomers 
are doing the little pooch's toes. Um, let's see what else did I have? Oh, we're coming up on summer for, again, the United States, which means pedicure weather. Have you looked at your feet lately? Because I looked at mine the other day and went, ooh, it's so gross. So it was, they've been in boots. So what I am going to be doing, um, and I'm still thinking through how this is going to work, but I'm going to do a challenge group um, for summer toes. And what they have to do to join my challenge group, and this is kind of based off what Beachbody does. So, um, so what they'll do to join will be they'll buy a the cell, the indulgence kit. Okay, so we're going to talk about feet hydration, um, buffing with, and then putting on the nourish and the the quench, and like having beautifully buffed beach toes. And then um, if they don't own a mini heater, I think I'm going to throw a mini heater into what you need to do to join. And then I'm going to have a special little challenge group where we're like we talk about what we're doing and I give toe tips. And then like I'm going to send everyone who joins every four weeks a petty pack, which is just those two big wraps. I have a ton from doing this for two years because um, I I don't do my toes most of the time. Um, so, and then like I'll have giveaways for like pumice stones or that I'm a ped foot thingy, which I love. I have one. Um, and then, so it'll just be something fun. Again, once that initial sale of buying quench or the, the indulgence kit, um, this is really only for the U.S. market. I'm sorry. Um, I don't, and maybe the Australian market, Canada too. Um, I I know that um, the UK does not have quench uh, the indulgence set yet. I am not sure about Australia and New Zealand, but um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. And I just will love on them and send them little words of encouragement every month with a petty pack. So how fun! So all the way up through August. So I'm gonna do May, June, July. I will keep their toes in wraps, and then come August the group will be done. So that's kind of my thought process there. Um, my other out of the box is how do we grow in the Latino Hispanic market here in the United States? So if you're a U.S. consultant or Canada, I want to know how are you thinking of growing in this market? Um, there is a incentive on the dash right now. Go look search Latino in the search bar and it will show you. Um, I am 100% sure within the next year we will be in Mexico. So I think that's why there's all this push to have the Hispanic market set in the United States. So I would love to hear what people are thinking about growing in that market. Um, again, we're only, <laughs> we're only as strong as the person we bounce ideas off of. And I think all of you are brilliant. So, um, I'm bouncing ideas off you. But um, those are kind of where I'm looking for the next month. Then you're going to see me going. Um, I like to share whatever I'm thinking with you guys. Um, live is another one that I'm really, as soon as I figure out my connection issues, even if I have to go into town and, and sit in town in my car and do live videos, that's what I'll do. Um, I think live is going to be novel for a little while. So I want to use it while it's really novel. Um, and then just have it be part of my brand. Um, consider on your business pages, instead of just always doing join my team or post, post, post about buying wraps, consider branding yourself on your business page. Um, this is another one of those out of the box thinking things is I'm starting to do, what do I know Wednesdays? Where I share business tips, business ideas. What do I know? Why do you want to join my team versus Sally Mae's team? Um, for people who are perusing business pages, this is going to make me stand out. This is going to make you stand out. So um, consider starting to brand yourself. Um, I know it's scary. I know live is scary, but um, all the videos I do for you are one take videos. So they're kind of live. You just get them after the fact. But this is where I'm going. This is what I'm thinking. And I want to hear what you ladies are thinking. Because again, I think some of you, I think all of you, not some of you, are brilliant. Um, and I think some of you are always a little afraid to step out of the box and I'm here to tell you just go jump um, 
if you crash and burn, you crash and burn. I love pop-up parties. I still do those. Um, search pop-up party in um, the search bar, and it will show you some of the things I've posted about that. And some of you know I did an Instagram pop-up party, and it busted. But guess what? I wouldn't have known until I tried it, and I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to try again. So that is what I'm thinking for Wednesday. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts below. Bye.